Right, you guys got another video here for you and a giveaway in this one we're going to be taking a look at active data studio now this is a tool that is packed with other tools inside it which is going to allow you to back up and restore your discs recover deleted documents and photos erase your disk securely monitor your hard drive's health also even repair windows that can't start up normally active data studio is set with both desktop applications uh, plus a bootable CD and DVD or USB disk for booting up the system into a Windows recovery environment. So I'll be giving away free copies of this and I'll also show you how to recover data uh, from any type of drive uh, if you've lost data on that drive. Now we're going to be using the data recovery part in this just to show one of its uh, capabilities but in the up and coming weeks we'll be showing you some other uh, types of of a software that's built into this which you can use to do certain other jobs and also I'll be giving other licenses away at a later date for those uh, as well so let's get started and get this installed onto the system and uh, we'll go through some of the programs that it has and how to recover data so what we need to do here is agree for their terms and conditions and then click next and as you can see here we have boot disk disk image disk editor disk monitor, kill disk, file recovery, partition recovery, password changer, undelete. This uh, actual software is packed with very useful uh, software which you can use to do a lot of these tasks here which uh, are common tasks. So if you uh, are running a computer repair business this is really a decent bit of kit. You can see we have ISO manager, data burner and partition manager as well in there. So we've got plenty of uh, programs to be going through and having a look it's about 600 megs in size the actual uh, file which is going to install a load of software you can also create your bootable USB or CD for your uh, Windows pre-installed environment so you can boot up to that so you see here this is the actual uh, software itself once it's installed all I need to do here now is register now there will be five license keys which I will give away uh, to people I will leave the information in the video description where you can get a chance to win one of those uh, but you can use it as a demo version just to have a look but when you win you'll be able to uh, register this to uh, your own name and license key and uh, that will be it you'll be having access to all these programs so let's go ahead and get that registered now you can see here we have active file recovery active partition recovery active undelete and active boot disk and that's under the date recovery section and we're going to be using file recovery for this one for the first video so if you've lost data maybe when you've updated to Windows 10 or something like that and it's deleted all your data which uh, has just happened in the 1809 update then you can use something like active file recovery to recover all your data that's been wiped out by Microsoft also you can see here active kill disk also active password changer and this will help uh, wipe the disk clean and uh, change the password and that's under the data security section under the data backup we've got active disk image active uh, data burner also ISO manager and virtual disk and then we've got disk tools of active disk monitor disk editor and partition manager and all your documentation on how to use those pieces of software is built into the software as well so let's go ahead and open up our active file recovery and try and restore some data uh, that I've got here. So let me just open this program. Now I've got some data on a USB flash drive uh, that I've lost and I want to recover it. So this could be on a C drive, on any sort of uh, drive really, but we're going to be doing a USB flash drive here for quickness, but it will be the same process for any other type of drive. Okay, so if Windows has wiped out your documents, you can actually uh, scan the C drive if all the files were stored on that C drive. Now you've got um, up the top here quick scan, super scan and also search. We're going to go for the quick scan and straight away you can see here it's detected that files were deleted on that drive uh, recently. Now it's always best to stop using a drive uh, as soon as you've lost your data. You want to give it the best chance of recovery. And as you can see here, I'm going to go to this PC and then select the 
backup uh, drive here which is the drive that I've lost files on and you can see there is no data on there so it's going to give us the opportunity to recover data that has been wiped out. Now you could use this method as I've said for data recovery uh, when you've updated to Windows 1809 and it's deleted all your data you could run a scan on that and if it doesn't work you can always try the super scan. So let's hit the recovery and uh, go up to here and uh, what we're going to do here is browse the location where it's going to save it. You can put a check mark in recover name streams and then you can click on the recover button in the bottom right hand corner and uh, it's going to recover all the data uh, to that path where we selected. I'll speed this process up and this is going to recover all that precious data that you may have lost. Uh, maybe the system crashed at a certain point or maybe uh, Microsoft Update has deleted all your data. This could be all your videos, your precious documents, work, work documents, could be photos of your holidays and weddings and stuff like that, your children. And you can see how easy it recovered that data. It recovered that data just using the quick scan method. Now there is also a super scan up there, which is a more deep type scan, which I'll show you in a second. But let's open this document up and see if it plays okay. Because I know some programs when you've done data recovery, uh, it always uh, recovers the files, but they're um, corrupted and stuff like that. But let's see how good this has recovered the data on that USB flash drive. And sometimes USB flash drives are difficult to recover data on. But as you can see here, it's playing perfectly fine. There's no problems there whatsoever. And it's recovered that data with ease. Now this could be your coursework, your projects, it could be uh, videos of your holidays, anything like that, it can recover all this data and you can see it's stored them all here and now they're all working nicely. Now there is a settings pane that you can mess around with and make changes to uh, the settings to suit your needs and you can see here we've got it under general recovery. You can come down here and make changes. I've just left this as default but you can change these settings to uh, whatever you want here and uh, as you can see here also we do have last chance and also we have super scan and quick scan now we tried the quick scan so what you want to do here is try your quick scan then super scan and then last chance now the last chance is going to do a different type of scanning where it will try and uh, recover those files when the quick scan method or the super scan method has not worked. You can use the last chance scan to try and recover those uh, files or data that you may have lost. Now the super scan also is a real much more deeper scan than the quick scan. So it will take time. These uh, scans will take a much more longer period of time. You can also see Windows, Mac OS. It also scans other operating system files like Linux and Unix. You can see here the file systems that it will uh, scan. You just put the check marks in those and it will scan those file systems and also those operating systems there, which is nice because it means you don't have to keep using different types of software and you just hit the scan button and set this up how you want here. Now, it does take a lot longer to do a deep scan, so bear that in mind. And again, you can just choose the drive that you want to scan and recover your data uh, from, and you're pretty much good to go. If you need more information on this product, you can also check out their website. They've got loads of information up here about the actual software and what operating systems it works on and what uh, files it can recover and what types of uh, data it can recover also. So it gives you all that information on their website. I'll leave the link in the video description. Anyway, if you want a chance to win uh, five copies of this one each, uh, then let me know and also comment on the video why you would need uh, this type of software and I'll do my best to pick five winners. Anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.